Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving fuses. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question one says that fuses act as safety devices in electrical circuits. Part A says to draw the circuit symbol for a fuse. Well, remember the circuit symbol should look like this. So it's basically your resistor with a box with a straight line going through it. And remember the line there represents the thin wire within the fuse. Part B then says to explain briefly how a fuse works to protect the wires and the flex of a plug. Well, remember that a fuse contains a thin wire which will break, i.e. melt, when too large a current flows through the appliance. So in this way, it acts as a safety device to protect the wires and the flex of a plug. It's not actually trying to protect the plug itself, it's more the wires inside the flex. Question two says that a George Foreman grill is switched on for 10 minutes to cook some crispy bacon. The grill uses 0.67 megajoules of energy during this time. It then asks what size of fuse is best suited for the grill. Justify your answer by calculation. Well, first we need to calculate the power of the grill and then compare this to the cutoff point which is 720 watts for fuses. So remember any appliance with a power rating below 720 watts should use a 3 amp fuse whereas any appliance with a power rating above 720 watts should use a 13 amp fuse. So we need to first find the power in order to compare it with this value of 720 watts. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the power P. We know that energy E is 0.67 megajoules. So converting this into joules, we get 0.67 times 10 to the six joules. And lastly, our time T is 10 minutes. So we need to write this in seconds. So that's the same as 10 times 60, which is 600 seconds. So writing down our equation, we have P equals E over T. Substituting in the numbers now, we get 0.67 times 10 to the six over 600. And putting this into your calculator gives a final answer of 1.12 times 10 to the three watts, or in other words, 1,120 watts. So we can say that since 1.12 times 10 to the 3 watts is greater than 720 watts, then a 13 amp fuse should be used. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.